she's just really fun and you know and for sure she's um really athletic uh really has a huge heart just like you said um and i actually felt a lot more comfortable when we had the jump because she's concentrating on something and i'm concentrating on something and we're both working together and i really felt us bond in that way that makes sense yeah Okay, Amy, so Bella's six years old. Mm -hmm. She did some jumping training the last two years, just low level, three foot. Mm -hmm. And um, she's had basically the, the winter off and started up training to be a riding horse again in the summer. We've done some work on the lunge line and some long lining. And um, we're just looking to find the variety that suits her. So what I'd like to do before you're here to jump her, before you start jumping, is we'll do a little bit of groundwork so you two can get to know each other, yeah. a little bit of flat work and warm up, and then let's try her over some poles and see, see if she's on the same wavelength. Okay. okay. Be patient. Be very really high, honey. All right. I'm gonna put my foot in just to check. Get on. Oh. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. Good girl. All right, you, when you're ready, you can ask her to move off. Okay. All right, so let's just try to relax her in the walk to begin with. Choose, choose a track on which to warm her up. Okay. I'll just do a big circle in yes. front of the Cavaletti. Yes, then she can see all the equipment. And try to encourage her to stretch forwards and down a little bit. Until she relaxes. <laughs> when she does that rooting, just be quiet with your hand and push her up to the bit a little bit. That's right. Do you want my arms wide and low? My um, hands? not necessarily with her. Okay. See, see where the connection feels the best. Oh, Bella. And let's do a change of direction. Let me see her walk to the right. Can you feel her left side is quite supple? Yeah. There you go. That's it, good. So gently put in a little bit of bend to the right. There you are. That's it, following with your arms. Because in the walk she uses her head forwards and down. A stretch. That's it. Just put your leg on there where she's a little bit scared. Keep turning her to the right. Talk to her. You're okay. <laughs> Good. You're fine. Look. Good. That's it. Different on this side. Okay. Good. All right, when you feel happy, let's change rein again back to the left and pick up the posting trot. And I want you to think about a slow rhythm to start with while you get used to her. Does she root like that? You yes. Okay. Not something I'm doing. She has, um, she wants to get going. <laughs> Good. Just keep the tempo. That's it. Just keep riding the trot. Good. Good. Keep the connection with the right rein as well. That's it. Nice and even. Again, try to encourage that she stretches down. There. Good girl. There. Right there. Very pretty. There's some balance. Well, 
Good. Now don't get stuck in going endlessly round and round. Change direction or do a smaller circle. That's it. And remember as you bend to the right, that's a stiff direction. Make sure you get your seat in balance, so your right shoulder back, your left leg back, and ride the bend as you go to the right. That's it, so prepare for the right bend. Good. Make sure your right shoulder comes back a little bit more. Good. Good. And forwards just a tiny bit. That's it. Till she settles into the rhythm, try to make it the same trot as you had to the left. There, she's getting Good, a little Amy. better now. Yes. And she's listening a little bit better to you, don't you feel? Starting to connect with you? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Now let's try a transition to walk and back to trot. Uh oh. Good, off that right leg. That's it. She's just spooking, so you carry on riding forwards. Good girl. You're fine. And then when you're ready, back up to the trot, and let's re repeat that downwards transition. Good. That's it. All right, and the downwards transition. Good girl. And back to trot again. Well done. And are you comfortable enough to carry a little bit of working canter? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you want me to go? So when you're ready, I would use your voice in the transition as well, so that you link to the long lining and the lunging. All right. Canter. Good girl. That's it. So find a nice, comfortable pace. Good. Good. <laughs> forwards, forwards, that's right. Keep going. Then bring her back to the trot because she's cantering incorrectly behind. <laughs> and ask again. Yes, yes, just nice and easy, just slowly. And talk to her. Oh. That's it. You're switching behind. So am I too. Am I clamping too much with my legs? I think if you're secure enough, if you could take your seat out of the saddle into jumping position, that might assist her feeling more comfortable in her back. That's it. That's it. Bring her back again. Let's do a little bit more trotting. Do some serpentines now. Take her mind off that canter. She is a forward-thinking horse. So a lot of your work is about bringing her back and steadying her. There. That's it. No surprises. Good. That's it. Nice and light with the seat. Good. And when you're ready, let's reward her with a little walk break. Uh oh. And praise her for the transition. Well, it is a new place, so of course she's going to be a little bit different than she is at home. And apart from trail riding, she hasn't really had schooling other than on the long lines and the lunch. And I've never ridden her before. Yeah, so it's, it's, you've got to get to know each other. There has to be a connection, not just a, a physical connection with the contact, but there's got to be a, a mental, a spiritual connection. Uh, conversation going on between the two of you. Yeah. She's got to get her confidence from you. Uh -huh. So you're the leader on the horseback. You just tell her that everything's okay. And we'll get the camera. It's just because she's different. She's just got to wind down a little bit. She really wants to please. She really wants to go. She does. And a lot of that's the thoroughbred. She really anticipates in her. what you're saying, so, yes. or thinking, so... Yes. she's quick thinking. Even though at some points I wasn't even asking her to canter, she would canter, because... Right, so she, she picks up your thought process. Yeah. So that's part of the connection between the two of you. And how I was changing my position, too, and my mm -hmm. legs and everything, mm -hmm. trying to get my balance on her. Mm -hmm. 
She's very cute though. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> she fits you well. Yeah. Right, let's bring her in around these four blocks to make a proper circle. So now you're bringing the focus narrower. You're bringing her more into control. That's it. You can stay a little bit away from the block. Yeah. Good. Don't forget your right rein, okay? That's it. Connection both sides of her mouth. Right, when you're ready, transition forwards to the posting trot. Let's trot a couple of times a circle in this direction. Having touch points, markers to ride to just as you would on course jumping. Circle is a track. Good, nice and easy, lovely. And pat her with your left hand, praise her. Good girl, Bella. And let's do a transition to a walk. And let's change rain through the circle. Nice big turn. So you just get her nicely balanced in the trot. Good girl. A little bit more forward. Give a millimeter with your hand. Take the neck a little bit to the right now. Good. Make the circle a tiny bit smaller. Come in front of the jump. That's it, just keep your hand nice and quiet, push her up to the bit and think about stretching that neck. A little bit more looking to the right because it's the left rein's too tight, she's bending too much in the neck, that's it, that's it, and then gently bring her back to the left without letting her just cheat and bend in the neck. Okay, change direction. If you feel her starting to breathe hard, will you come back to the walk? Yeah. Just untwist your inside rein. I'll praise her for that. Much better. Good girl. Good. Good. That's it. Okay, let's reward her with a little bit of a walk break. Hello, Bella. She just wants to go. <laughs> She's all ready. <laughs> So we were going to do our circle to the right round these blocks, weren't we? Uh-huh. Let's come and do that. Okay. And then we'll think about the canter. So can you, can you feel from that that um, when you narrow her focus, she's more concentrated? When you make a specific shape, she's more concentrated than just going? Yeah. Yeah. And that has a lot to do with her age, too. Right? Oh, yes. Because she needs something to concentrate on. Yes. Just like a six-year-old does. Exactly. A little human. You know? Exactly. Exactly. All right, so when you're ready, let's pick up the posting trot. That's good with your shoulders. Trot. Good girl. Good. That's it. I'm just thinking a little bit of leg yield off that right leg. There you are. So she connects with that left rein. Do that again. Push the weight to her left. There you are. Good. Good. All right, open up the circle a little bit. Get 
figure. There you are. And just get familiar with that track because I think we should try cantering on a big circle to start with. Okay. <laughs> she heard, <laughs> she heard <you>. the word. <laughs> and let's change direction to help her. Let's go on the left hand rein and come back to this big circle. Nice turn. Good. So look for the balance. No rushing. Lighten your seat. Good. Open up the circle. That's right. And then when you're ready, the canter transition. <laughs> That's okay. Fine. Canter. Good girl. That's it. Standing up after the saddle. That's good. She seems more happy with that. A little, yeah. Yeah. Good, good, that's it, outside leg, yes. All right, then let's bring her back to the trot. <laughs> Sit back. <Try. laughs> that's right, wind her down. Change your posting diagonal. You feel the improvement in the balance of the trot after the canter? Yeah. Much nicer. She's so energetic in the canter. Just She's energize so the bunny. Like I feel like I can't even touch her with my yeah, very knees forward. at all. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> she'll feel it and she'll just go. Let's change direction. And then you start that same exercise to the right. Make the circle as big as you can first of all in the trot. That's right. Take your hands up there. I like that. That'll be good for the canter. Yeah. That'll help you stop the bucking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. When you're ready. Can That's it. it. Good. Good. That's right. There. Now it's more settled, isn't it? Good girl. And the gentle downwards transition, balance the trot again. Try that. Little half heart with your knees, with your thighs. That's it. Very good. We praise her for that transition. That was nice. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, let her have a walk and a break on a long rain. Let's take a little break. That was a great camera. It was. Very nice. All right, Amy, let's walk a square that comes over this single low cavaletti. To let her see it. Let right. her see it, yes. <laughs> Get her attention back on the job. Good. What the square does is engages her hind end. Make sure that you have the outside aids, right? Exactly Mom? right. Okay, let's change direction. Come across this little diagonal line. Make your turn wide and we'll walk her over to the right. Oh, okay. That's it. She's really patient. She wants to go now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bella. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, let's do the same thing in the trot. That's it. Make sure you get your aids on to turn the corner and that you deliberately straighten on the straight line. <laughs> Good. That's it. Then gently bring her back. And talk to her this time as you go over. Pardon? Talk to her this time as you go over. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. She zoomed in on jumping. That's it. Good girl. Steady. Good. Good and girl. praise her. Good. Girl. Try once the other direction. Oh, oh, Bella. It's a rhythm back. Nice track, Amy. Nicely over the middle of the jump. Give her a pat. Good. Good girl. Right, let's give her a little break. I'm going to move this uh, cavaletti yeah, out of does. the way. <laughs> I want to go jump the big jumps now. You do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, try it. Try it. Oh. I just want to make sure with these exercises that she's focusing on you, not on just having fun at the jump. Nicely presented. Well done. There you go. <laughs> She rushed them a little bit, but rushed, it lost that. the rhythm a little bit, so a little bit more deliberate with your posting. One, two, one, two. Direction from your seat. That's it. There you All go. All right. Let's change direction. All right. So she's done this somewhere in her history. Yeah. Better with the bend. Do you feel she's settling now? Yeah, I do. We're getting more comfortable with each other as well. Yeah, it's more of a partnership forming. Very Good pretty. Girl. Very pretty. Good stretch. Good. Yeah. Outside leg as well. Remember this direction. All right, so the same thing with the tempo. Give her a little pat. Oh. Pat with your right hand. Nice. Just to prove that you can let go of the connection and she stays in the frame. Good. Yeah. Watch your track. Good girl. That's it. Nice and easy. Good. Okay, would you like to work your way around the arena onto the left hand rein and let's see what she does with the crossbar. Do you want to work? Would you like a ground pole? I'm okay. Okay. Do you want me to do it towards the tree? Pardon? That way or this way? Away from home. <laughs> Whoops. Good. I don't mind that she lands and goes to the canter, that's fine. Okay. So once to the right. So what the crossbar does is help place the horse in the center of the jump. Good. That's it. Didn't quite get the lead. No, she um, had the wrong lead behind, so let's do that once more. Sorry, sorry, I missed it. Let me go around again. Oh, no. Good, good, good. Just a Can tiny bit more back. forward, a little bit more energy. That's right. Good, you got it. Well done. Give her a pat. A little bit more impulsion. Ah! Ah! Not Bella, not canner. That's it. Remember, take that neck a little to the right now and again. There you are. There. Just straighten that neck in front of you. Good. What's going on over there? <laughs> Is 
Now, That's do you want me to do the fast rail? Canter once, just canter once round. Uh-uh, get the neck straight in front of you.